Here's my 75 step plan for beating burnout. All I have to do is complete this list, ignore my friends and family, and never sleep. Oh, sorry, I, I forgot what I came in here for something. I was gonna do s Hi, I'm so sorry. Were you saying something? Words sound funny. My sleep schedule is all weird. My doctor said I'm morphing into a bat. Nocturnal, adaptable, capable of prolonged hibernation. Haven't eaten any insects yet, but I'm sure that's coming. Sorry to interrupt, but perhaps you could summarize this meeting in an email. My brain stopped processing information 15 minutes ago. Do I look cool yet? Like those girls on TikTok? I know I just spent $800 on becoming a really cool skater chick, but I just don't feel like I thought I would feel. It's on a slope. Maybe I should try scuba diving. Something is wrong. I don't know what that something is, but it is big and it is bad and it is coming. I can feel it in my bones. Why can't everyone see that we are standing on the brink of destruction and death and doom? And how many more D words do I need to throw around until people take me seriously? Do you think I'm crazy? Do I look crazy? It's times like these I realize I too am facing trials and tribulations, just like the spirited and unloved orphan who bursts into Avonlea to change everyone's lives forever. I'll just call myself Abby of Avonlea. Why did I come in here again? Oh, yes, the kitchen's on fire. Happy anniversary. I got us reservations at Mason's, but just in case it burns down or there's rumors of a creepy haunting or there's black mold in the ceiling, I also made backup reservations at three different places. I'm thriving, never been better. Except life is pointless and I'm oversleeping and everything I used to enjoy no longer has meaning. Also, I'm binge watching Grey's Anatomy and I just spent $90 on carrots for my virtual farm. But I'm totally fine. I just got a promotion at work. Everyone is counting on me. There is no greater feeling in the world than that. It's been so long since I felt the sun on my cheeks or the wind in my hair. When can we stop pretending that going into the office is a good thing? Yeah, of course. I can pick Chloe up from school so you can get your nails done. You know, I might be five minutes late because I'm the doula for my best friend's home birth this afternoon. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm fine. I just volunteered at the animal shelter and ended up adopting five dogs even though I'm allergic. If I don't do it, who will? The construction of box store mid-century modern furniture is a scam. Are there any dovetail joints? Nope. Hardwood with an open grain? Not a grain in sight. Nobody understands that the point of mid-century modern is supposed to be quality. The only person I can depend on is myself. I'm the only person that I can talk to. I'm the only person I can hug. I'm the only person I can tolerate spending time with. Consequently, I'm a little sick of myself, but I must endure because everybody else is incompetent. I'm not calling myself one, but the definition of a hero is someone who perseveres in spite of overwhelming obstacles. Okay, so I'm definitely calling myself a hero. I'm a hero. Yeah, skydiving was fun, but it could have been better. You know what I've heard great things about? psychedelic microdosing. With all due disrespect, you have no idea what you're talking about. And if I have to suffer through the company of one more incompetent human being, I'm going to self-destruct. I'm not doing too much. If anything, I'm not doing enough. For example, I just discovered there are dragonflies on the Eastern Hemisphere and I know next to nothing about their migration pattern. I didn't even know insects could migrate. I actually asked my boss for more work because I need the challenge. Just leave your grimy, disgusting shoes in the entryway. Not in the shoe organizer where they belong. No one in this house knows personal responsibility. Shoes are a privilege. I don't need to rest. You need to rest. These dark circles are a makeup trend on TikTok. There's too much to do and nobody is pulling their weight. Stop. I hate when my body betrays me. I gave you four full hours of sleep last night. You do not need to yawn. What do you mean we don't have any more coffee? Did no one pick it up from the store? Does nothing happen in this house unless I do it? I know I just got promoted, but I'm trading in my keyboard for a surfboard, my office chair for a beach chair, my wireless mouse for a beach house. Basically, I quit. I hate you, but please give me a hug. I'm confused, but I know exactly why. I do want more friends, but I'm not gonna do anything out of my comfort zone. I'm the most talented person in the world. I haven't journaled in weeks. I haven't had a meaningful conversation in days. I don't, I don't even know what color my aura is. <laughs> WebMD says I have measles or an intestinal obstruction. Probably both. I need to rewrite my will, because if I go soon, there are a lot of people who have disappointed me and I need them to know that. Daniel gets a stick of deodorant to show why I won't stand within five feet of him. My boss, Doug, is gonna get some willpower 
because he clearly doesn't have any to run a good organization. If I'm stressed, you're all stressed, all right? Every single kind thing I've ever done for you is now expected to be returned tenfold. And yes, there are strings attached, strings aplenty. I'm pissed at you for a multitude of reasons. Number one, by asking me to take out the trash, you are preventing me from having fun. I'm trying to play Legends of Zelda all day long. Number two, you forgot to put coriander in the curry. How could you? Number three, your promotion at work is making me feel bad about my accomplishments. Number four, this week is so long and I'm really bored. Number five, I don't know how that's your fault, but I'm gonna blame you anyway. Who left the fork in the sink? Did you think this was gonna magically clean itself? Last time I checked, forks don't do that. Hello? 